Introducing Management Jam, starring Andrew Liggins, a 28-year-old small forward and star player for the St. Petersburg Bulls. Timothy Tyson, a 30-year-old ex-college basketball star who is now the GM of the St. Petersburg Bulls. Clint Donovan, the head coach of the St. Pete Bulls who has coached for 15 seasons in this city. Steve Palmer, a super fan who is also the head of the St. Petersburg Bulls fan club. And Lansing Davis IV, the incredibly wealthy owner of the St. Pete Bulls. Mr. Tyson, could you step in my office? Hey, Mr. Davis, how are you doing today? Pretty well, how about yourself? I'm fantastic as always. Well, do you know why I called you in today? Well, I assume it has something to do with the fact that we just finished our second losing season in a row, and you're probably a little bit concerned. Yeah, I'm, I know I'm just behind the scenes with the finances, but to the fans and to the common people, we look like crap out there, to be honest. Completely good, I know where you're coming from. What do you think is best to do? Well, that's the reason why I called you in. I need your help with this situation. Well, you've already identified the problem, which is the first step in the seven steps of decision making, which I learned back at USF in my management class. What? Could you tell me more about this? Of course. First, like I said, you identify the, situ you identify the situation. Next, we obje develop objectives. So, i.e., winning more games. Next, we'll generate some alternatives, i.e. firing the coach and moving in a new direction, making a trade, so on and so forth. Next, we'll select which alternative we want to implement, which brings us to step six, implementing our decision. Afterwards, we will monitor and evaluate the results throughout the course of the next season, and voila, seven steps of decision making. Well, personally, when we were talking about generating alternatives, I've come to think about firing Coach Donovan, to be honest. Okay, well, we can always consider it, but like I said, we have to go through the seven steps of decision making to make sure we don't upset the fans or the players by making a rash decision. So why don't I get out there on the streets and figure out what our players and fans want to do? All right, don't let me down. I'm counting on you. All right, good practice today, guys. Now hit the showers, we got a big day tomorrow. And no more towel whips in the shower. You guys are starting to worry me. Hey coach, do you have a minute to talk? Hey, what's up Timothy? Yeah, I have a couple. What's on your mind? Well, as you know, we've been losing far too many games the past few years, and the organization and the fans are starting to get a little antsy. Yeah, the two, two years that just passed have been rough for me and the players, and our minds are in the gutter. Well, I don't want anyone to lose their jobs. Ownership has been talking about going in a different direction with a new coach, but first, I'd like to see if we can use some different motivational techniques to get the players back on track. Well, what do you have in mind? I know you took a motive, uh, management class back when you went to USF. Yeah, and when I was there, I learned about positive reinforcement which increases the probability of behaviors being repeated. So let's say Andrew or Carmelo or one of the other players has a great practice where they work hard, reward them, take them out to dinner, give them more minutes in the starting lineup, so on and so forth. Maybe that could create an atmosphere in the locker room of hard work and dedication. That sounds pretty good. And also, I think it will build the team more. I appreciate that. Well. Get, uh, get to work on that, and we'll see how this works out. I'll get back with you in a few days. Yes, sir. See you soon. Yo, Tim. Yeah, Andrew, what can I do for you, buddy? Well, I need to talk to you about something. Yeah, I'm always here for talking. Well, you know I'm not the one to come behind people's back and talk about my troubles, but this is a big problem. Okay, Andrew. Well, I hear you guys starting to start rumors about Donovan being fired, and I can't let that happen. I've been through nine seasons and two championships with him, and I'm not that happy to let him go. Well, Andrew, you know neither of those championships have been in the past few seasons where the team's been losing far more than they should. So? Well, maybe instead of coming to me and trying to get involved in management's jobs, you could look at yourself and see how you can be a better leader. 
You don't know leadership on the court. You just sit behind a desk all day and sign papers. Well, I know I'm new to the team, and what you may not know about me is I was a star player at USF, where I also majored in management, and I know that a leader on the court is the same as a good manager. A good manager and a good leader are trustworthy, encouraging, honest, decisive, communicative, and dependable. Maybe you need to figure out if that's what you are. And if so, maybe you can get this team back on track and Coach Donovan can keep his job. Well, that's what you think. But in my view, it's a whole nother world. Oh, yo, watch out. Whoa, is that my man Double T, Timothy Tyson? Oh, yes it is. Nice to meet you. I wish I could say the same, but you're on thin ice, buddy. What are you talking about? Heard you guys trying to fire Donovan. And me and my fan club can't let it happen. Do you know who I am? I'm not sure I do. I'm sorry. Super fan Steve Palmer. I run the fan club here for your team. Oh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Just so you know, there's a lot more going on behind the scenes that the fans can't see. We're talking to players, coaches, and other members of management using the seven steps of decision making and using group decision making process to make sure we come to the right decision. So don't get ahead of yourself. Well, I'll show you what the fans will see. A boycott if you guys keep this up. Me and my fans, we make up for over 50% of the ticket sales. And you guys are going to be butt out. All right, buddy. Well, whatever happens, happens. And I hope we, you understand that what we're doing is the best for the team. So whatever decision we come to, try to be supportive. <laughs> Timothy, bring your tickets in here. Hey, Mr. Davis, how are we? Well, I'm not the one that expressed my emotions well, but it's been a week since I let you go. What do you got for me? Well, I talked to players, fans, and Coach Donovan, and I think it's time we revisit the seven steps to decision making to make our decision. Well, you're the management expert. Run it through me, pal. Well, we already identified the problem. Yeah, we're losing. And step two, we need to develop objectives. Yeah, win. <laughs> yep, that's the easy part. Now, step three, let's generate, generate some alternatives. I already have those. Well, lay them on me. Fire Donovan. Hire some free agents. Trade. Okay, great. Now let's move to step four and analyze our, our alternatives. When it comes to firing Coach Donovan, I think it might upset the players, mess with their loyalty, and definitely upset the fans. I met some guy, Super Fan Steve. Oh, you ran by Super Feeb, huh, Super Steve? And he threatened a player, a fan boycott. So I really don't think that firing coach is the best thing right now. We need to think long term. All righty. And signing a free agent, we're pretty tight on cap space right now. So I don't think that's the best option. Yeah, my pockets are getting slim. And we could always trade. But I think our best, our best player is Andrew Liggins, the leader. Can't trade him. And too many of our young players wouldn't get a good enough return on the trade market since it's going to be a few more years for them to develop. Reasonable, reasonable. So let's select the alternative. Personally, I think the best, the best thing to do is to keep, keep coach, stay where we are, draft a few good players this summer since we do have a high draft pick, and see if Coach can use some of the motivational techniques I discussed with him to get this team back on track. Well, you know, next season, if there's more of a downfall, I may have to let Coach Donovan go and you. Okay. Well, hopefully it all works out for the best. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Well, time for step six. Let's implement this decision, and the next season we'll monitor, monitor and evaluate the results. All righty. Let's go, Donovan. Three, two, one. And the Bulls have won the 2016 NBA Championship. Woo! Woohoo! Congratulations, team. I'm so proud of you guys, and I'm sorry that I doubted you last season. But I'd like to do, have a good thanks to Timothy Tyson for using the seven steps to making a good decision and processing it well. Yeah, and I'd like to thank Mr. Tyson too. 
I apologize if I doubted you when you uh, questioned my leadership skills. But once I really thought about it, I realized I wasn't the best leader I could be. So thank you for that. One more thanks to Tim. Tim, I would like to thank you for giving me skills on how to motivate myself and my team through the bad seasons. You taught us how to keep our motivation well and make us better on the court and off the court. Well guys, no need to thank me, it's my job. Everyone should know uh, proper management techniques, whether they're a player, a coach, an owner, a general manager, or whatever other career you have. Gee, I may think about taking that management class at USF also. You probably should, it's right down the road.